So I just got to see Wonka, the brand new Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory movie directed by Paul King and it stars Timothy Chalamet as the title character. And the film is a prequel to the original film, which of course uh, famously starred Gene Wilder who gave one of the greatest performances ever in that film. And here we have a younger version of that same exact character and we get to see his rise to becoming the Willy Wonka that we all know and love. Now I really enjoyed this movie a lot more than I thought I would, but a little bit less than I have a lot of other, other movies I I've seen this year, so I'll get into all of that, I'll kind of explain my thoughts on it. The first thing I want to say about this movie is I was surprised at just how much music there was. I didn't know that this was actually like a musical. I know that it's, you know, that there was going to be musical aspects of it, but I figured it would sort of be like a Willy, like the Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory movie, or a Charlie and the Chocolate Factory movie, where, mu uh, you know, the music is sort of weaved in throughout. It's not exactly the entire picture. But this film definitely earns the title of musical. There is a lot, a lot a lot of musical and a lot of singing stuff in here like just tons and tons of it in here and some of it is really really great others not so much there are a few songs that are just not memorable whatsoever there's one in particular though that i think is great and i'd like to see an oscar nomination for it but we'll, we'll see there's some callbacks to the original film when it comes to the music that i really liked specifically you'll see in the trailer with the oompa loompa which is brilliantly played by richard grant hilariously played if i should say myself i it, it really really funny stuff that comes from that character i don't exactly love the cgi effects that came with it i think they probably could have pulled off this character practically just with you know they probably would have had a different actor playing him but overall i enjoyed the actual obaluba character but the music stuff is very similar to the original movie when it comes to that character at least so what are some other stuff i liked about this movie first off timothy chalamet i think he's great here and everybody knows at this point that timothy chalamet is a phenomenal young actor he's one of the best you know mid-20s actors that we have in hollywood right now he has a massive massive career ahead of him i don't know if this is his best role but he definitely brings that light heart hearted charm to Willy Wonka that Gene Wilder really made special in that original movie. Now, does he top Gene Wilder or even come close to that performance? No, not really. You know, Gene Wilder brought something so special to that movie that, that is just untouchable. You can't really replicate it. But I will say, Timothy Chalamet puts his own little touch in this character. He makes it his own, but while, while still honoring the legacy of Gene Wilder. And I really enjoyed it. I think he's amazing here, and it's definitely different from anything else I've ever really seen him in. He also gives, like, some weird nods to the jo Johnny Depp Willy Wonka, which this is not a prequel to that movie, but there's some lines and some acting moments and some little things that were thrown in there that I'm not sure were done purposefully, but they definitely were, for me at least, nods to the performance that Johnny Depp put on, which I really appreciated because I love that movie a lot. And altogether, this performance as a whole just felt like a celebration of this story, of this character, and the world of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, because it is really this magical, charmful experience watching or reading anything that has anything to do with these characters. I mean, it's a character who's essentially a science, like a mad scientist, a magician, this guy that runs this factory, which is just unbelievably, like, both huge and unrealistically crazy. You know, we gotta see the origin of this guy, so you gotta bring this weird unrealistic charm to this character, and he does it great. I also thought the supporting cast here were great. They all did their job. A lot of the characters here are just for comic relief. They're thrown in, but overall, it was kind of funny for a PG comedy that's definitely targeted for kids. It got me to laugh a couple times, and I appreciated that. The actual story that's told here, I think it's fine. I mean, it's very predictable. It goes over the basic beats that you expect it to hit, and I'm not going to give it too much crap for that, because yet again, this is a G-rated movie. It's made for little kids. You know, kids are the target audience. They're trying to give a great family holiday film that parents could take their kids to see. So I am clearly, you know, me in my mid-20s, you know, who loves darker dramas, rated R dramas, I'm not, the, I'm not the target audience for this. I'm just not. But I was still able to enjoy the story. There's nothing really wrong with it. There's nothing over the top. It's an enjoyable story that's easy to follow. It hits all of its beats. It's got some surprising moments, some twists that are not so surprising, some emotional moments that, that kind of hit home a little bit, and, and a solid ending that leads directly into the, you know, the Gene Wilder film. So it does all come together fine. Fine. The script is nice. I actually really like a lot of the dialogue in this movie. It's paced really well. It's snappy. You know, the back and forth between characters make a lot of sense, and there's always, like, little things that happen in conversations that I really liked, and it shows a really, uh, a lot of effort and care that was put into the script here, which I really appreciate. And that also is something that's added on to that, and a lot of those little things and a lot of the text are the performances, specifically from Timothy Chalamet, which I've already talked about his performance, but there's little, little things that he does, little, like, winks and face gestures and just little things that add so much 
much to these scenes and to the characters that, that you really appreciate. And it's stuff that you see from great actors, so I love to see it. I also really like the music in this film outside of just the musical stuff. The overall score of the film, when it's not musicals, it's just, you know, characters doing regular movie stuff. The score here is brilliant. It calls back to the original movie all the time, and I loved it. I'm really a sucker for that stuff, all that nostalgia bait crap that a lot of movies do these days. But it worked for me here, because I am a big fan of the original film. I also think a lot of the effects when it comes to the actual chocolate stuff and some of the cool, interesting stuff that they do, although it was good, is definitely a step down from the Tim Burton movie stuff, like a lot of the things that happened there that were done practically end with special effects, and I would even say a step down from the original film, but overall, it still gets the vibe of what a Willy Wonka movie should be. It gets the vibe of this magical chocolate stuff that, that you can expect from a Willy Wonka film. But overall, though, I enjoyed this movie. It's filled with so much heart, so much charisma from uh, Timothy Chalamet as his character, it has fun supporting characters, it has laughs for people of a younger age, and I'm sure, you know, older ages will appreciate it. If you enjoy the older movies, or even if you enjoy the uh, the Tim Burton film, there's still some nostalgic type stuff in this film, some callbacks that'll make you happy. And I could definitely recommend this movie to families on Christmas and New Year's Eve week. If you're going to see a movie with your family and you got young kids, this is the movie to see this week. It is definitely perfectly fit for that criteria. But overall, I will give Wonka a 4 out of 5. It is a really, really solid film. So that's the video, guys. Make sure to like it and subscribe to see everything I post. Click the video on your screen right now, and I'll see you guys in the next video.